Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Profotech Sessions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning REST API development in PHP. This is our part 9. Inside this video session guys, we are going to make an API which basically read single data and this is for the get request type. In the last video session guys, means video number 8, we had done the same thing but in that video we have used post request type. Now inside this video, we are going to use called get request type. What does it mean? If I back to postman, now here as we can see from the last video that by using post request type, here we have passed the ID inside the body section and successfully we have retrieved the respective information and dump here. But inside this video, we are not going to use called the post request type. We are going to use called the get request type. It means we are going to pass our ID on query string. After getting ID from query string, we will do the same thing what we have done inside previous video. If I back to code editor, now this is the file that we have made. Now go to v1 and to create one more file and let's say this should be single a student and let's say by get method dot php now this is the file we have made so i am to copy all the contents what we have written inside this single hyphen student dot php copy all the code and paste inside this file so save all these contents go at the top now this time we are going to use called the get request type so here we need to write called the get and also I am going to remove about the second header what we have included. If I scroll down, now here we need to change about get instead of post and also instead of this JSON decode or file get contents, we are going to use call simply it set and let's say get method and inside here we are going to receive that ID from our query string. So if it has value, so we are going to convert call int val this is a PHP function which basically converts into integer value and if it has no value then we are going to return about let's say empty value. Only we need to pass about the ID inside query string. That's it all we have done now. So by getting param, now this is direct parameter actually we are getting from query string. So here is no need to use about the arrow operator. So this is only param. Or let's say that instead of param, if I name it as a student ID, copy this variable, pasting it here and pasting it here. So successfully by getting this student ID, we are initializing or, or putting a value inside our student property and successfully by using this method actually, we are reading the respective student information. So if I back to postman, now copy this route, open a new tab and paste this URL here. Now this time this is get and the file name that we have if you go to the folder structure inside this v1. Now if I click on rename, copy the file name back to our postman and pasting the file name here and remember inside query string we are going to pass an ID and let's say that we want to fetch the student information which has ID of equal to 2. Now if I click on send button so successfully as we can see that if we convert about the data output as JSON, now this is the information actually we are getting. If I change about the value from 2 to 1, click on send button, now this is the information of id1 value. And also if we change about the value of 1, let's say the 20, which does not exist in our database table. If I click on send button, now as we can see that in the response we are getting about a student not found. So these are the things actually we had handled in our previous video. So let's understand about that how this API is working. Now this is the file, now this is the file URL what we have created. Now while hitting this URL, we are passing id as a parameter in query string by using get request type. So if I back to code editor, while getting about the get request type, this id we had actually sent via URL. So we are getting and stored inside this student id variable. Now we are checking that if it has a value then we are just initializing about id property of this student object. 
why we are actually initializing because inside this method called get single student we are just consuming or using the id variable so we need to initialize this so this is a property of this class so we have defined and sliced here by using or getting the value from the URL. Now successfully while calling this method from our student class, we get all the informations of that student and stored inside this student data variable. And successfully we, we get all the data and print and dump on the output screen. So this is all about by using our get request type to read a single student information. In our previous video, the same concept we had used but that time actually we had used about post request type and also we had passed about the ID means student ID inside the body section. So inside this video session guys, if you went out, then please drop your comment. I will give my reply as soon as possible. So for this video session guys, thank you for watching and have a great day.